didn't set my alarm because I um, wanted to test my like natural sleep rhythm to see when I would naturally wake up and see like blah 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 blah. blah. I don't know, I'm just saying things. And I natural my goal was to wake up at seven, and I naturally woke up at seven o two. And my backup plan was that there's a typhoon coming. It's my first typhoon in Japan. And I saw that it's supposed to reach, like the storms are supposed to like get bad in Tokyo around 7 a.m. I'm like, okay, if I don't wake up naturally, then I guess the typhoon will just wake me up. And it's freaking sunny right now. Like, this is sunshine. It's not even, but anyway. Today, I am going to document my experience as a silly little American um, living her first typhoon experience in Japan since moving here. Now, some background information. I have been through a number of hurricanes in my day, living on the coast in the United States for a good chunk of my life, so I'm not scared of any wind and rain. At least if it's not too bad. And I'm alone because my boyfriend is away on an internship. So hopefully it's not too scary because I'm alone. <laughs> my parents are really concerned. They've been checking the weather and the typhoon, it's called Typhoon Na. I don't remember. It's like N-A-N-B-A-D. Nanabada or something. My parents have been tracking it and like telling me and my dad was like oh you're in a perfect location it's just gonna go right above you you're gonna be just fine <laughs> it's so cute because they're on the other side of the world like being my weather checkers for me oh. ow i dropped my phone but i wasn't gonna film today and then i was like hey first typhoon experience let's document it i would like to show you what's in my fridge and first let me show you what's on the outside of my fridge they're from the new one piece movie is it a movie or a show i don't even know that i'm sorry to offend any big one piece fans out here but i got them from a sushi please focus uh sushi chain shop here kuda kuda sushi did a like uh i hear footsteps there's a woman walking outside wearing heels she's bold it's a typhoon lady anyway I wanted to show you what's in my fridge because I went grocery shopping yesterday and I really went all out. I'm lactose intolerant, but I love cheese. And I found this by accident yesterday. It's vegan cheese that I think is made from soy. I haven't tried it yet, I'm kind of scared. The pizza looked good. It's probably not even a vegan pizza. They're probably just like clickbaiting me, but cheese baiting me. Cream cheese in the back has been in there for a long time. I'm a little scared to open it. These are like Japanese pickles. Eggs that I already ate like half of. This is bamboo, actually this is a gift. And then I have my lovely soy yogurt. These are, I think they're, should I, should I? Uh, Publix says soup. And I got this 10% off CC. A whole lot of sweet potatoes. And this is a carrot. Oh, and juice, of course. And that's what's in my fridge. That's it on my floor. I thought this was gonna be like a cool I don't know, at least get some action, like some wind or rain. I shouldn't be wishing for any bad weather, but I still wanted something a little exciting, you know? Sorry, this might be kind of a boring first typhoon vlog, guys. You see behind me, it says Coarse Reg. This is my big reminder board. Like if something I really need to remember it and I'm just not remembering it, I will write it here. Cause I got an email from my university that said like, you must register for courses by the 16th and they send it on the 15th. And it was the first I had ever heard of it. I was like, what the freak are you talking about? So I was kind of like panicking, but it was, I was like, I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So I wrote it on the board and they sent an email the next day and they were like, please disregard, that was a mistake. <laughs> So I need to erase that because I don't need to register for courses yet. Are any of you fans of Twice? Twice! If you are, how do you like Talk That Talk? I love it. And if you're not a fan of Twice, Twice! you should listen to it or no, watch their live performance. Because it performs, or watch the music video. I love their music video. Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. Jihyo looks so good this comeback. Jihyo killed it. To me, like I always, whoop, 
I'm always like, who owns this comeback? Like, which member is shining? Jihyo. Jihyo is shining. She's always shining. I love Jihyo. My bias in Twice has always been Momo. I love Momo because I was a dancer and Momo is such an incredible dancer. I like Tsui too. And I like Cheyong too. And Mina is so cute. Yeah. Oh, Jonghyun though. I just love all of them. If you guys don't know anything about Twice or K-pop, you're probably like, what is she talking about? I got my boyfriend. My phone just simply does not want to stay here. I got my boyfriend into Twice. Um, actually, right after I moved to Japan, we were at... I think it was in Shibuya. At Shibuya Scramble, like on one end of the Scramble, there's this big record music store. And they have um, like big... Uh, sections for the most popular music groups and like all of their albums and their photos and a bunch of stuff and like fandom merch and stuff and we went in there and i found twice, twice and i got really excited and i was like pointing out every member and like naming them and talking about them and i just got kind of got carried away and my boyfriend could tell how much i love them and then from that moment on he made it his mission to like learn everything about twice um so that he could enjoy it with me and it was really sweet and now he's a bigger twice fan than i am like i'll just look over his shoulder and he's watching like their latest performance or like watching like he knew about talk that talk before i did and he i woke up to twice playing and he was watching the music video like right after it came out and jiho is his bias it's, he's so funny He's so sweet because I know that he was just listening to them at first for me because he's he doesn't really like K-pop. He's not really into um, K-pop so much, but he'll listen to something just because I like it. And then he ends up falling for it on his own. And it's so funny. <laughs> Do you see the sun on my toes? Sure, clouds. Yeah, there's a lot of clouds going on. But the sun is freaking out. This is not a typhoon. Maybe I will be able to go to the gym. My parents instructed me, do not leave the apartment. Stay inside. But come on now. It's not even windy. Oh, you can see my back. Come on now. Coffee number two. Coffee number two. Coffee number two. Coffee on the wall. I don't know how that got there. Okay, kiddos, I'm gonna edit. Because I need to post... My ASMR video within the next few hours. Because that is the personal deadline that I have set. Let's get to it now. I would like to report my Wi Fi is not working. And I don't know if it's a coincidence or if the typhoon has done something. I have no idea how Wi Fi routers work. And I was looking at it and it's English writing, so I should be able to understand it, but I still don't. So I simply unplugged it, unplugged it back in, and it's still not working. False alarm, it worked. I'm a tech genius. So I decided to get ready to go to the gym because it was sunny and nothing was happening. And then this started. Um, I don't know if you can see well on camera, but the rain is literally sideways. Sideways. <laughs> I don't think I'll be going to the gym. <laughs> kind of nice for the ambiance though. It looks like really big raindrops. Do you see those? Is it hail? God, I hope it's not hail. I've never actually experienced hail before. The rain stops, so I'm going to the gym while I can. It is windy. There's a ton of people out, like there's students. Um, there's a university nearby my apartment, not my university. Um, but their classes already started, and I guess classes weren't canceled. Oh geez, the rain's starting. Oh geez, I gotta go. Ooh. It's really coming in waves. Like there will be a super strong gust of rain and just like a ton of water, and then it just stops. Okay, we've arrived to the gym safely. <laughs> the gym is done, and it hasn't rained. But the wind's going crazy right now. I'm walking against it and I'm like... <laughs> Other than that, it's not that bad. When I'm comparing it to hurricanes that I've experienced, like, this is not a hurricane. Whoa. Okay, every time I talk crap about the weather, it proves me wrong. You can't see it, but it's crazy downpour right now. It started as soon as I got back to my building. I'm really
this is just turning into a boring day in my life vlog because <laughs> I like cancelled any plans because the typhoon's coming, you know, you're supposed to stay home. So I hardly did anything today and there wasn't anything <laughs> exciting. Sorry guys. Uh, I feel bad if I put this video up because it's going to be like clickbaiting. Like my first typhoon in Japan and you watch the video and it's just me like in my pajamas hanging out doing nothing. <laughs> We went to the gym. That's all we did today. Shoot. I guess I should be thankful. I'm safe. Nothing bad. Just some cool clouds moving. Some gusty wind here and there. In other news, my outfit looks like cotton candy. I have this very light blue shirt, which I wore in a video one time on my other channel, and I said I'm wearing a blue shirt. I swear to you guys, this is a very light, light blue. And then I have these super light pastel pink shorts. So this is my cotton candy PJ outfit. So I'm sitting here eating my lunch. Um. I got these cherry tomatoes that are grown at a local farm. I bit into it. Big mistake. Um. Um. <laughs> the trajectory of the juice from my mouth to all the way over there. <laughs> I bit and it just pshoo. Okay, it's getting pretty bad. <laughs> you, you can't really see um, very far because the rain is so heavy right now. The camera really does not do it justice. Can you see the amount of rain going sideways? Like the amount of rain coming off of that house. You cannot see why does iPhone camera not pick up the rain. Like you, you can't see off into the distance because it just turns into rain. Wow, rain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it coming off that roof. That roof's going crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look, oh my God, oh my God. Typhoon. So I just got off the phone with my boyfriend, and apparently. The worst of the typhoon has not arrived yet. And it's gonna get six times worse at like 1 a.m. So the little wind and rain spells that we had today was just a little storm. It wasn't the typhoon I had been led astray by the weather channel that I had watched yesterday that told me the typhoon is gonna be here today. So now I'm considering if I should go to sleep at my normal time or should I just stay up during the typhoon? One, so that if something bad happens, I'm awake and I'm safe and I can, you know, take quick action. Two, so I can experience the typhoon. <laughs> so it's 7 p.m. right now. So if my boyfriend's correct, it should be arriving in five to six hours. I want to bake before I potentially lose my electricity. I did laundry and I washed my hair and and uh, yeah, I did stuff with electricity before um, I potentially lose it. So I think I'm gonna bake. I saw this recipe for pancakes that only require bananas and eggs. And I don't know how that's possible, but I really want to try it. And I'm gonna make cookies. I don't have an oven, but I think I'm gonna try to make cookies on the um, frying pan, like pancake style cookies. So we might have a baking typhoon night. I'm in the process of making pancakes out of bananas and eggs. This one is, your, oh, my boyfriend's gone. Real quick, I just wanna say that this is magic. This is incredible. It tastes like crepes with like a slight banana flavor. It's amazingly good and I put, I rolled it up and put some chocolate in it. And this one is like dark chocolate 
little bits and pieces that I, and I did one with the chocolate protein powder and I did one with cinnamon and they're so good and I recommend this. You just do a ratio one to one banana per egg. I did two bananas and two eggs and I'm making like my fifth pancake now. It's so good. Hello friends, it's the next morning. My hair is quite a mess. It looks like I went through a typhoon. <laughs> um, so, uh, I ended up going to sleep around 11 by accident. I was going to stay up and watch YouTube videos, but I just fell asleep. And I woke up at like um, 2 from the wind because it was really loud. Um, I didn't like look out my window or anything because I was kind of half asleep, but the wind was really loud. It was like, woo you know like sounded like a ghost or something <laughs> uh right now it's basically um just some weird looking clouds can you see they're like really thick and long and low clouds um but they don't look like they're moving but there's no rain just some wind i think it's pretty much over the worst of it so wah, wah, wah. that was my typhoon experience so even though i've been out of classes since basically the end of July so I've been off all of August and now I'm like over halfway through September so almost two months my Japanese has improved more than when I was taking classes because I've been interacting with people in like daily life a lot more and speaking to native speakers and going out by myself I used to be kind of scared to go out by myself um, because I thought like if I can't communicate well or just like do something wrong then I would need to have like my boyfriend or native speaker with me to help out. Um, but I kind of got over that fear. And since I've been going out on my own, my Japanese has improved so much, so much, like so much more than when I was taking classes. Yeah. And just like engaging in real life Japanese conversation scenarios is so helpful. Yeah, I'm really confident. Like I can fully communicate in Japanese in daily life like sure there's a lot of vocabulary that I don't know and like I make grammar mistakes I'm sure my accent is horrendous but the goal of language is communication and I can do that you know if you make mistakes who cares the goal of speaking a language or signing a language is to communicate a message and if you can do that it doesn't matter if there's like errors and stuff that's a really big thing that I learned in my um classes back at my home university i am uh, training to become an english teacher and in a lot of the classes they say that like you know you you've had the idea of grammar and like <clears throat> the importance of being grammatically correct like stuck on your head but like throw it away because the the notion of there being like one correct english grammar is kind of classist and based off of like who was in power when the correct grammar was decided and that was like rich white people so the way that the rich white people talked was like the correct grammar and other dialects of like people of lower classes um was considered wrong which is if you think about it it's just like really stupid because if you can communicate a message through the sounds that you make with your voice you know then that's correct you're correctly finishing or doing like the goal of language which is communication it doesn't matter like the shape that it takes as long as you get the job done yeah so that's something that's really emphasized in training to become an English teacher because in the classroom you want to make an environment where students are not afraid to make mistakes and have them understand that it's okay if you make these mistakes as long as you get your message across like that's the first goal and being able to do that you know like the, the form, the correct form will come later with practice with practice. And sure, like, we still need to teach grammar, yeah, 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 but uh, communication is first. And I don't know how I just, I just for three minutes went on about, <laughs> like, classism tied to grammatically correctness and language. But I'm a linguist, guys. I'm sorry you can't keep me away from rambling about that in a video. Sorry. So anyway, yeah, the reason I was talking about that is I've, I'm a perfectionist and I always felt like I need to speak Japanese perfectly so that I don't embarrass myself, but literally no one cares. And I, if I'm able to communicate my message and people are usually really impressed 
that I can like communicate in Japanese. Like Japanese people, they praise me so much, even though I know I'm making grammatical mistakes, but they can understand me and like, you know, it's the same effect as if I said it perfectly or if I made a few mistakes, they understand me exactly the same. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I am going to finish like editing and preparing a video to be uploaded to my vlog channel. It's going to be my second video ever. And I'm excited to see where this channel goes. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> my goal is to get 10,000 subscribers um, by the end of the year. I think I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. So I'm going to go upload the next video for that. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. For now, I don't know if I'll keep this going. I, I think I'll film more today, but I don't know if it'll be... What is my hair doing? What is this? <laughs> but I don't think... I don't know if it'll be as part of this vlog or, like, a separate one. I don't know. The lines are blurred. Nothing matters. Uh, see you later, I guess. Uh, actually, that was all the filming I did. <laughs> so, I hope you aren't too disappointed by how boring my first typhoon was. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will leave you with this.